Hey guys, sorry for the double live stream because again, you didn't hear this in the first one, I saw there's a new vertical live feature. So as a 41 year old, I'd love to stay on top of these trends. Of course, as a 41 year old, there was no volume. Okay, so bear with me. I wanted to share something I've been working recently uh, for low back pain and hip mobility using a high table or massage table. We got this massage table uh, for like a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. You can modify with any high box step table. The beauty of this though, it is both adjustable and it's got a nice padding to it. So I wanna take you through this quick routine. Uh, a couple things that I have found to be really helpful with this. Number one, I've just got a slant board there for my feet, just to give me a little bit of leverage and help me get into position. I've also got one of these ab mats, which helps with uh, just more comfort for the low back, also helps you kind of maximize the extension to the lumbar spine. What we're trying to do for both your hips and your lower back, we're trying to improve extension. When you sit all day, you basically lock your hips and your low back into flexion, and that can also cause uh, some bulging uh, pain in that lower back area you wanna release. So I'm gonna take you through this quick. Now, I've got a couple little secrets here I'll share. I've got a vibrating uh, Venom pad from Hyperice. So this is both heat and vibration right on my lumbar spine. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show a couple options here. First is just kind of the, the line extension I do on the table. And uh, here's what it looks like. So I'm locked in. I'm just using those slam boards to position myself and I come down through and you can see now my lumbar spine is resting right on the pad, but you can see here what's happening, right? The weight of my legs is putting me into a really nice stretch. So it's opening up the hip flexors and I wanna be really active squeezing my glutes, the opposing muscle of those hip flexors, which means it's gonna help pull me into a bigger hip extension, right? It's a deeper stretch. You, the more you squeeze the glutes, not only do you protect your low back, but you also increase the hip stretch. I'm also gonna be using this pad, not just for comfort and to increase range of motion extension in the spine, but I wanna be active with my core. I wanna keep an abdominal engagement and I wanna actively push my lower back into that pad. So I'm squeezing the glutes, I'm active in my abs, and I'm letting my weight, my legs just dangle off the side here. Now watch, I can also add some wiggling, right? The beauty of this is the weight of my legs, if you've ever seen an inversion table, uh, an inversion table, right, which actually uh, kind of decompresses the spine, it's kind of anti-gravity. It's, it's using weight to pull and create space between the intervertebral discs. You can actually, it's kind of a hack at home using uh, this massage table. Hanging my legs off like this is tractioning the hips. It's also decompressing the lumbar spine. The weight of my legs is trying to actually, it just helps create some space between those discs. Uh, very important over 35, but also uh, if you've been sitting all day again, just to help kind of release those areas and fight gravity. So I'm, I'm here, I'm locked in. Just kind of deep inhale through the nose into the belly. And I'm actually trying to breathe into my lower back. I pull all the air into my low back. <sighs> Full exhale through the mouth. At least one to two minutes. Sometimes I go three, five, ten minutes. I can check email doing it, listen to a song or a podcast. It'll just really release this area out. Uh, one thing I do too is, and again, this is kind of more advanced, but I'm digging my one toe down and I'll just kind of lift one leg into flexion and I'll switch sides and my right side is much tighter. So I might do a couple more reps in that side. You might even hear some clicks or adjustments there. Now, here's where I, I bring it home. I'm gonna take this uh, massage thing off. So I've got the slant board set up. I've got my percussion massager as well too, which I'll turn on. And I'm actually gonna put this foot on. I'll go with this side first. So this is gonna stretch my ankles and calves. I get this leg up on the high table. And while I'm stretching both my hip flexors and extensors, glutes, hip flexors, I'm actually taking this heated percussion massager and I'm going into my hip flexors. Glutes, I can come all the way inside this area. But this is also just really helping, again, improve motion through both hips. And I'll do both sides, you know, two to five minutes on each side. And I even kind of eho every hour on the hour of this drill, where, if I kind of show for the other side, you see how much flexion I have, hip, and knee, and then I'm, I'm getting that trail leg ankle stretch. So it's great for uh, walk run mechanics. This is actually, this massage is even better. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a huge hip flexor stretch here. While I'm stretching, you can see I'm actually taking this percussion massager and I'm, I'm just going over the iliacus and just tracing even the lateral hip glute area. 
So I'm in the stretch, but while I'm stretching, I'm adding that massage to really further release those tissues. And the combination of having that heated head attachment gets that release even better. So just a cool drill that I've been working. Again, that high table sprinter stretch. And by the way, I can come back on the table in that stretch, that legs hanging off position here. And I can also work on my hip flexor and uh, I can bring it into my low back. So lots of cool ways to just kind of release things out. Just wanted to come in first to, to test this new live stream vertical feature. Wish you guys a great weekend, but I know a lot of people are struggling with tight hips and lower back pain. This is just a really great drill using a high table, massage table, even a low box or step that you can find to make comfort for to traction the hips and spine, decompress the spine and open up the hip, hips as well, which they feed each other. So have a beautiful, uh, you guys can hear me, right? I hope, okay. Sorry for that previous live. I just, the audio was messed up, but uh, check this out. Hope you enjoy it. I'll be doing more of this uh, as we come through. Peace.